Isn't this so cool? It's so pretty. Look at this. Good morning, hi. I literally woke up with a sty in my eye. Um, I don't even know if it's a sty, but my eye feels weird. But today, I wanna film a what I eat in a day because I've been craving a lot of foods. And I wanna share with you guys some of the cravings I've been having lately and some of the recipes that I've been cooking up. I am so hungry right now, so let's get right into it. First, let's start with breakfast. Obviously, we're not gonna start with dinner, duh. I'm not funny. This avocado is gonna be a good one, I just know it. Look how big this lemon is, wow. So I've been craving guac toast. No, avocado toast. <laughs> I've been craving avocado toast because of this one girl on TikTok that makes really good avocado toast. Her name is Bria Lim on TikTok. I've been literally eating this for the past week. So I think I mastered the skill of making avocado toast. Beautiful. This next step is something not a lot of people do. I add in Greek yogurt because it makes it creamy. It just makes it so much better. So just get one scoop of that. This is amazing. Then I add in salt, pepper, then crushed red pepper, hot honey. I love this combo so much. Mm. It's so pretty. So refreshing. Ah. If the yolks pop, it will ruin my day. So I add more hot pepper. And ta da! This is my finale toast. Guys, if you've never tried hot honey on your avocado toast before, try it. It literally makes such a difference. It's like sweet, but has a little tang to it. Mixed with the avocado and the Greek yogurt, your taste buds are like, what am I eating? But I like it. The lemon water just is so refreshing. Show your face to the camera. Oh, today I just want to stay home and just eat all day and not go outside. Why are you so adorable? I just came back from walking chai and I am so exhausted like I'm so tired every time I walk chai I go outside for at least an hour or two okay I'm literally starving right now and I want to make something to eat but before we do that I just want to say thank you Grubhub for sponsoring today's video yay this is actually so crazy because I use Grubhub all the time and Grubhub is my favorite app because it is so convenient. Grubhub convenience is literally so useful and it saves the day sometimes, especially when you're in the middle of doing something and need something urgently and don't have the time to go out and buy yourself. You can just order it on your phone and it comes right to your door. Just like how you get your food delivered, you can get convenience goods delivered as well. Grubhub convenience has everything from ice cream to snacks, 
to batteries, household goods, cleaning supplies, everything. So um, it's literally the best thing on earth. So I'm gonna order some things that I was supposed to get when I was on a walk. I'm, in, I'm just too exhausted to go outside again. Technology is absolutely amazing. Okay, I wanted to get ice cream. Okay, I got everything I need and it actually comes really fast. You don't have to wait a long time for it to arrive. All right, I just placed the order and I'm gonna wait till the groceries come so that I can make my lunch. But thank you Grubhub for sponsoring today's video. This is a dream, I love you guys. So if you guys are interested, you guys can click the link in my description box and order from Grubhub Goods and get all your favorite convenience goods straight to your door. Oh, I think it's here. <laughs> They delivered it right to my door, contact free, and it literally took them not even 15 minutes, which is crazy. Woo! This makes me so happy. I got my mini pizza bagels, ice cream, chickpea pasta, red pasta sauce, a carton of eggs. They packaged it really nicely so that the food don't get jumbled up in the bag. But yay! Okay, now let's make my lunch that I've been waiting for. I'm so hungry. When I was shopping, I found this tool that can basically cut up vegetables as noodles. So I'm just like, oh my gosh, that is a brilliant idea. And I tried it out and I loved it. So I'll show you guys how I make my pastas now. It's so easy. I use a zucchini to make the noodles. can't open my eyes right now. Ugh, I can't open my eyes. All right, here's the fun part of this recipe. I'm gonna get a big block and make sure the ends are flat so that you can basically stick it to this little thing. And then go like this. And then ready guys? Isn't this so cool? Oh my gosh. And ta-da! You have a whole bowl of zucchini noodles. the noodles are. Oh my gosh, never ending. Parmesan cheese. Mm. My mouth is watering. It smells so good. Look at this. This looks like actual pasta. I'm mind blown. Okay, my pasta's ready. Oh, there's so much sauce. Um, my drink is water. I will give my pasta a taste. I am so amazed. Wow. Mm. Mm. This is amazing, I have no words. It obviously doesn't have the same texture as pasta, but I don't hate it, it's so good. This is a great way to eat more vegetables. Mm. Ah, that was such a good meal. Let's get you. Here you go. 
For some reason, I've been obsessed with guacamoles and avocados and just avocado everything. And then I'm gonna add salt, pepper, and red pepper flakes. The most important part. Squeeze a little bit of lemon. And now mix it all together. I think I've been eating almost two whole guacamoles, I mean avocados every single day. Oh my gosh, look how creamy this looks. I got some unsalted tortilla chips and I will be feasting on this guac. Mm. It's so creamy. I got my lemon water. Mm. When life gives you lemon, make lemon water. Mm. Okay, it's been a couple hours since the last time I ate, and um, because I only eat chips for dinner, I'm I'm hungry, you know? So, I'm gonna make myself some late night mini pizza bagels that I got earlier. Because it's kind of late, I don't wanna cook anything, so. I think four is enough. Okay. Why is it looking like this? Okay, well, that's pretty interesting. I'm gonna make this a little fancier and add this Corsini mushrooms and white truffle cream. I got this from Italy last week and I have to eat all of this up in 10 days, within 10 days after opening, so otherwise it'll go bad. And I'm just trying to finish this as fast as I can. This looks really unappetizing. <laughs> Cheers! Wow, this is probably the worst mini bagel I've ever tasted in my entire life. Why, why is it like this? Why is the bread hard? I'm so confused. This part is literally hard as rock. It's like not edible. Okay, let's try the next one. Mm. This is so disappointing. The mini bagels really killed my vibe and I don't want to end my night on a bad note. So I'm going to eat this ice cream. It's a cherry cheesecake flavor. No, raspberry cheesecake flavor in a bar with a chocolate on the outside. This looks really good. If this is not a hit. Mmm, mm, I'm cold. Mmm, this is good. Oh my god, yes. Look, you can see the raspberry. Mm. I wish that lasted forever. All right, well, that is the end of what I eat in a day. I think I ate everything. I hope you guys enjoyed what I eat in a day. And if you guys want more of this, comment down below. Bye. I think I'm gonna knock it out right now.